You're watching Chewing the Cud with Mike Benyon Rowe and Lee Robertson. But when they said, start the fans, please, I let out a little squeal and a little bit of wee come. Oh, and hello, <laughs> welcome to Chewing the Cud. And this week we are welcoming a special guest host, the musically gifted recording artist, Smash Bing. Welcome. Hey, thanks for having me. I'm so excited. I'm, I'm, I want that. Hunt, you can have it if you want. It won't go off. <laughs> <laughs> we can try. <laughs> that could be a segment in the show. <laughs> we could try it on. You <laughs> rip smash his clothes. <laughs> <laughs> you yes. won't be the first, you won't be the last, aren't I? <laughs> and not forgetting our homo from homo, it's Lee. What are you bringing us this week? I'm bringing a story about a celebrity who's covered themselves gold. Gold. Mm. Always believe in your soul. Indeed. Mm. <laughs> and on screen now, you can see all the ways of getting hold of us. It's at the Cud TV on social media, where you can follow us. The Cud.tv for our website and on YouTube or podcast services. Look for Chewing the Cud and hit subscribe. And as the names of the people who have liked, shared, and commented on our social media go along the bottom of the screen, we go to Mike and the Buzz. <laughs> What's your favourite tipple of choice? Oh, there's so many. I love a little secchi, a little right. secchi on a Friday, a nice gin, a little cocktail. I'm quite an easy girl, I'll be honest. <laughs> Lime and soda, I know. I'm not even... If I'm feeling saucy, it'll be a oh. Lambrini. Oh! oh. Go on, Lambrini. Oh. There she goes. Mm, cherry. <laughs> Diet cherry. Diet cherry, Lambrini. Diet cherry, Lambrini. Yeah. yeah, I can see it. Um, how do you feel about cheap vodka? I mean, if it's vodka, I'll drink it, babe. I don't care where it's come from. <laughs> <laughs> You don't have an experience with cheap vodka, do you? It's made out of potatoes. Huh? Is that a thing? You can make vodka out of potatoes, yeah. Oh my god, I'm learning cheap so vodka. much. So it's like the, the 99p stuff you've seen. Ah, uh, okay. Well, good news for me, because I'm cheap, um, <laughs> is that you can actually now use it in a Brita filter. Oh, okay. To make it more tasty and more palatable. If you put cheap vodka through a Brita filter, it doesn't taste like paint thinner. I love that. What's yeah. a Brita filter? <laughs> um, so you know, a water filter. Ah, oh, with, yeah. with the with the fil with the thing that you put in with the, with the... that you put in your fridge and then you pour. Yeah. Okay. But you can do it with vodka and oh. all, all the cheap <gasps> spirits. So you can have like a fridge of like vodka. You just press it and it all just comes out and you're little. Oh, here we. Yeah, I'm obsessed with that. Very <laughs> love that. I'm caught up. Now. Also works with gin. Fabulous. And other clear spirits. Amazing. Why does it make it taste nicer? Because it takes out the impurities. Okay. So the the cheaper vodkas tend to just be distilled once, which uh -huh. means it's got all the nastinesses in there. Mm. or nasty tastes and stuff that don't filter out. And it tends to be made from cheaper ingredients. Can you do it in a soda stream? You could make fizzy vodka in a soda stream. Oh. I have done that. Have you? I have oh. made my own Prosecco with cheap white wine. Have you actually? Yes. Oh my goodness. Tastes vile. <laughs> but... <laughs> Once you've reached a certain point in the evening, it doesn't really you matter. You know, like lockdown is desperate time. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> don't really care. I just like to be sociable. I'm a sociable drink. <laughs> it's not recommended that you use it. It, it can destroy the Brita filter. Oh, so OK. It's not recommended to do it. Maybe not. There's no harm for you doing it. It's just okay. the filter. Can you put fruit in there? I'm asking a lot of questions about it. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite, it's, can, you're you're very invested in this, aren't you, though? Because someone that doesn't drink a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Making cheap Christmas presents. Because some people do that thing, don't they, where they put like things in a bottle of something and then let it steep all year. Infused flavors. Infuse it and then yeah. give it to people for like birthdays and stuff. There are people oh. that cheap out there. Do so you put a Mars bar in it? Phil, no. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> Just eat the Mars I'm bar. Not, I don't care about <laughs> it now. <laughs> you don't give it. Don't, do you? Yeah. Um, I'll move on then. <laughs> Since you don't care about, don't care about the vodka. Um, so, there's a diet. Oh. You like a fad diet, don't you, Lee? I'm always, always, <laughs> always eating. How, how do you do with diets? I don't really diet. I just kind of like... You're get hate from Lee now. No, it's fine. No, it's fine. <laughs> because, he's, because he's of an age where he doesn't need to. I have like a show diet. If I'm performing, I don't like eat on a show day. That's okay. like, I guess, a diet. But I just kind of eat what I want and, and, and cut out the shit I don't want to eat. So I'm not like overeating. I'm just eating the stuff I like. Is that so you don't vomit on stage? Yeah, there's that. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> It's never a good thing, though. It's not the one. I have yet to vomit on stage. It's something I've yet to fulfill, you know. Have you vomited on stage? I vomit all the time. <laughs> <laughs> on and off, everywhere. Just on stage. <laughs> just everywhere. Um, <laughs> well, there's a man that's been dubbed Wolverine huh? because of his raw oh. meat diet. OK. Right? And he's actually said that brains are his favourite thing to eat. Oh, this has changed so quickly. When you said raw meat, I was like, mm, here we go. It's going to get really filthy. It, yeah, you know? it's not as exciting as it is. <laughs> um, yeah. Who's brains? Bra huh? Who's brains? Bra he's part of zombie. 
Oh, okay. It's not really. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Halloween's a common. So no. he said he said um, he's adopted the diet after he read books about the benefits of meat. Oh. Right? Um, and a lot of his f favourite people say eat a lot of meat, it helps you bulk up and get muscly protein and stuff, I don't know. Yeah, apparently. But he eats four and a half thousand calories a day, 90% oh of which is raw meat. That isn't good for you. No, surely not. It can't be. We've got another picture of him. Is he in something else? He's, he's doing something else anyway. He's doing something oh. else. He is. Maybe this isn't such a bad idea after all. <laughs> I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> That's quite a small brain. It's a little. It's a lamb's or brain. Or is he quite big? It's very, it's very, the brain <laughs> is very far option. away. <laughs> um, mm. Also got a glass of eggs. Oh, no, that's why I, I draw the line. Eggs are not for me. Right, I bet he stinks. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. You don't want to follow him in the bathroom, do you? No. All that protein is not... Sorry, no. 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 Mm -mm. It's not no. good. Can you not get, like, an illness from eating raw meat? Isn't there, like... <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm sure there's, Salmonella? like, a... Oh, well, there could be that. Yeah. But there is, like, a, a, like a condition. Oh, is that human flesh? <laughs> Flesh. I'm not. It's human flesh, You're isn't it? Human flesh. Yeah. How do you know this? I just. I've watched Dharma. Just, yeah. I know what goes on. Oh, okay. Um, I've yet to watch Dharma. So. <laughs> yeah. I think he did that before then as well. I've, there was a cover up. It was just coincidental. <laughs> that's popping off right now. Yeah. I, I don't. I don't. I don't think it's recommended. It's. It's not. Not great for everybody. Oh, it no. works for him. Good for you, Boom. But yeah. Good for you. Wolverine. <laughs> yeah, Wolverine. Like Wolverine. Wolverine. Because didn't we cover a couple of weeks ago um, Zac Efron eating elk meat? Yes. He's Which no is longer not a vegan. vegan. Oh, I was going to say what is an elk. So what's like an a elk? massive cow. <laughs> <laughs> it's a massive oh, is it? Deer. Is it? <laughs> yeah. With, is it a oh, moose? A deer. Oh, no. Is it in the moose family? Ma moose oh, why thing. is he eating them? It's just. He's trying to be edgy. He's trying to be edgy. Yeah, he just. I don't know. I wonder if it's very lean. Very lean meat. Skinny meat. Yeah. Skinny meat. Not a, lot of, not a lot of... I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's not a Mars bar, so... No. It's the twinks of the meat world. Yeah. <laughs> um, and if you start putting weird things in your mouth, you can always share it with us at The Cud TV on social media. And that brings us to our story of the week. When did you have your first chocolate barley? In the womb. <laughs> in the womb. <laughs> <laughs> Now that surprise. is not a horrible, horrible. I'm just, I could just thinking that I'm not going. No, it passed through the oh. uterus. No, it didn't pass through the uterus. <laughs> what is the thing? See how people are thinking. I hope my mother never watched. <laughs> That's why they call it a finger of chocolate. <laughs> Umbilical cord. Umbilical cord. Yes. Could have just. Oh. I could have. Yeah. It, she didn't. It went like that. I mean, no. in desperate times, desperate measures. You know. <laughs> So what are we talking about? What is the story? When did you have your first chocolate? <laughs> Probably the same, I think, in the room, but no, definitely okay. definitely via the cord and not the other way. Not the other no, way. No. Yeah. Okay. No. Um, no. Well, this probably was around about the time that Lee had his first chocolate bar, as a 122-year-old chocolate <laughs> bar has been found in an attic and has sold for more than £500. Oh, my word. I would buy that. Yeah. That um, does not look tasty. <laughs> it, doesn't, it looks a bit dry. That looks like... It looks Drugs. a bit like weed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to say it. Um, so, yeah, so the, the chocolate, which normally expires after about three years, this came out in the reign of Queen Victoria. Oh. That's how old it is. Did somebody... Do you see... I mean, I would just have a little... <laughs> would you have a little nibble? <laughs> <laughs> just a little tiny bit, not just there. to see. Out of a smell and judged by that. Perhaps I'd like a finger. Oh. Like <laughs> and you'd go, oh, it's chocolate. Oh, <laughs> and then, and then the person would turn around, there'd be nothing. Yeah. <laughs> Just old chocolate. Oh, God. Around my mouth. Uh oh. <laughs> it's happened again. <laughs> I've <laughs> eaten yet another four expensive product. Desiccated cups of a chocolate bar. <laughs> <laughs> another corpse. Another corpse. <laughs> I'm very influenced by Dharma. <laughs> He's really got an effect on you, I can tell. The show has, like, disturbed you. Oh, dear. Um, so, so what, have they, what have they done with it? Well, who wants to buy that chocolate that's that old? What are you going to do with it? You are going to do it if you eat it. <laughs> um, what, what they've said is that they've kept it because it's a piece of history. OK. And it's a round trees chocolate bar. OK. So, Nestle, it would be now. Oh. Okay. So it could be a Twix. It looked like a Twix. <laughs> 
<laughs> don't look like chocolate. It's not more like a flake, a, a, a girthy flake. A girthy flake. <laughs> Love a girthy flake, honestly. Oh, okay. Are we back to going in blue again? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We need to stop. <laughs> That stage of the pregnancy, it was all <laughs> perfect. Um, yeah. Um, so they have the auctioneer, Paul Cooper, has said we don't recommend anyone eats it because mm -hmm. it's very, I very agree. old. Very old. Very, it's 122. It's almost as old as you. Oh, good <laughs> grief! Almost. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so some people may try it, but they've they've said not to. Mm. But that's all from the buzz this week. I thought you were going to say if you've got any old chocolate lying around. Let us know. <laughs> Send it Send in. It in. It. <laughs> Live on air. <laughs> but you would. I would, to be fair. <laughs> oh, it's me. Okay, right. <laughs> Too busy thinking about all the chocolate. Too busy thinking about all the chocolate. I genuinely do think. Raw meat, no. 100 year old chocolate, possibly. Maybe. Yeah. Stay with us after this break. It's Lee and the Showbiz News. You're watching Chew in the Cud with Lee, Mike, and our special guest host, Smashby. Now let's get ready for the showbiz with Lee. So we've we've spoken about this celebrity a number of times in the past. It's old Gwynny P, Gwyneth Ugh. Paltrow. What's oh, smelly yes. vagina candles? With, a, with the match candles and a yeah. goopin and a steaming and all that. Anyway, bless her. She got she's, <laughs> she got taint candles now. No, she's turned but she, no. <laughs> she, oh my God. That's mine. That's my gig. Um, she she's turned fifty. Has she? She oh, has. Yeah. And you know, and admitted it. And admitted it. So she's seventy nine, really. She, well, yeah. <laughs> That's big so, one. so for her, she's not going to have like a boring gluten free vegan Fit. nibble sandwich for her for her birthday. She's okay. decided she's decided that to to celebrate her fiftieth, mm. she's done a photo shoot because she deserves it. Absolutely. And okay. um so she's she's stripped naked mm -hmm. and yes. she's painted herself gold. Because why because why not? You know what? Because why not? We've got a picture over there. Oh she looks um, amazing. I mean to be fair, you know that's Love that. know what she's holding on to. She looks like that award. She might be what lying is the down. Award? Is she lying down or is she holding a giant Oh, no, it's, it's a, it looks like a plinth. A plinth. A plinth. Yeah. She's, she's um, mounting a plinth. She's mounting <laughs> a plinth. There is another one of her not mounting a plinth, um, <laughs> just kind of holding her plinth. She does not um, look happy. That's a, bit, a bit awkward, that one, actually. Well, no, she's, well, it was inspired by the James Bond Goldfinger okay. lady. Love a Goldfinger. What, you know, the, the one that... This lady <laughs> that was painted gold. Oh, she she yeah. Died. Yeah, she died. Wasn't it that way of killing them? Yeah, it, Got rid of all their paws and they couldn't breathe. Um, yeah, so, so, but work. that didn't happen to Gwyneth, unfortunately. Uh, <laughs> she was half done. She was half done, only half a little done. bit. Oh, I, no, I read, she had an area <laughs> uncovered that she could breathe through. So she said, I'm feeling good at 10 and 50, and this is about expressing that sense of energy and optimism that I'm experiencing. Okay. It's more about the female gaze than just a sense female of, gaze. Female, female gaze. gaze and a just we sense call of them fun. Lesbians, can we? <laughs> <laughs> so she's saying that this decade she wants to slow down because she's been on the go for so long. Uh. She said, right. She said, I would like to retreat a little. We want her to do that. She wrote, I would like to make my circle smaller. Um, <laughs> got some tips for you how to do that. Gonna steam it. <laughs> um, I would like to cook dinner more. I would like to see misunderstandings become understandings. I would like to fully acknowledge myself and I am it, that I am imperfect. I can shut down and turn to ice. Which well, is unusual. I don't know. <laughs> She's got a lot she wants to do in she the next says, 10 years. She says, I swear at other drivers, I don't close my closet doors, I lie when I don't want to hurt people's feelings. I'm also, you know, she, then she bigged herself up because obviously, horrible person after that. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm also generous, that. funny, I'm smart, I'm brave, I'm a searcher, I can bring you along on my quest for meaning. When I love you, you will feel it encompass you through time and space. And I'm I think she was, on, I think that <laughs> gold paint, <laughs> woo, made her a bit so high. Solid, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so, you know, if, if you, you know, any birthday, if you want to just, you know. So 50th birthdays, especially. Yes. Yeah. Any milestone birth. It doesn't have to be the fifth. Oh, okay. I don't know. Um, so there's not. There wasn't enough paint. Was <laughs> paint? If for for certain people. 
apparently like who? who? I don't who turned, know. Who turned 50 I don't know. Recently? I'm just kind of conscious of the time. Let's move, <laughs> on to, let's, let's move on to the next one. Lizzo. Who's not a fan of Lizzo? <gasps> Love Lizzo. Lizzo. Big fan. She, she has just played a 200-year-old flute. <gasps> I've heard about <laughs> this. This isn't anything to do with chocolate bars. <laughs> <laughs> She, she's Is it just a very old man? I was thinking the exact same thing. I was like, um, I've done the same thing. Was it the skin? You weren't the first one. <laughs> the skin flute? Yeah. Oh! oh. It's old. Is it? Yeah. On stage, right? I've heard of pink oboe. But I'm just lucky. Uh, so, so it's she's a very a... small tip on an oboe. <laughs> is there? Um, she, 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 the <laughs> she. So here she is. She's playing a crystal flute and that is from the looks of it. Two hundred years old, and nobody has played it in our lifetime. She's looking very excited by it. She looks, now, I that's what I look like. like. I play two hundred years old. Skin <laughs> Whether or not she played it and then was going, oh, that tastes disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> Did they give it a wipe before they brought it over? <laughs> so she, she's a trained flautist herself, and she was granted permission by the Library of Congress to play the instrument, which arrived on stage by the police escort because it's so precious. Oh. Um, so she said it's like playing out of a glass of wine. Um, so she she played a few notes and then did a bit of twerking, as you do, as you do, yeah. as you do. with every glass um, of wine flute in hand. Yeah. Oh, that's dangerous because yeah. crystal shatters. Oh, well, it does, yeah. I think there was a lot of people around <laughs> with cushions. Yeah, just, just in case. case. Just twerked and played James Madison's flute from the 1800s. Absolutely. Um, and then, as soon as she'd played a few notes, they took it away. Um, so she put all that on the social media, and then they took it back, obviously making sure that she hadn't. So like, look, that's where she licked it. it. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> so, um, they said that that this is the, the probably the only time it will ever be played. Oh, because okay. it's going back in its cage now. It's cage. Okay. It's case. Cage. Case now. Because <laughs> it's a um, wild flute. <laughs> the last, been the last time it had been out of the library was 1993. So she's like, it's so quite it has been played in our lifetime. Well, it's not been played. They've taken it out. <laughs> All right. Okay. Show people. Look, here's my flute. And then put it back away again. Um, I've done that. Before. Some guys have done that to me before, actually. Yeah. <laughs> then they said, on their social media, they said, we just did a DNA test they posted. Turns out it's 100% that flute. <laughs> I think that's what he's That's the Lizzo songs. lyric, yeah. So, I'm old, I don't right, know. Okay. I just thought <laughs> you were taking it. Yeah, can not we just get fan. that first picture back up? What, of a lick in the flute? Of, of a looking like you with a flake. Oh, that's rude. <laughs> No, they can't do it. Sorry. <laughs> do it in do it in There post. we go. See, post. that's me with like a real life 200 year old skin flute. <laughs> Which one? The first one or the, the second, second one? one. Oh, okay. <laughs> that, that's short about this. Ooh. Um, <laughs> well. Flute's a flute. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever it's made of. <laughs> anyway, let's move on. It's coming up spooky season. It's coming up to Halloween. Very near. Are we are we hallo- are we are we horror film fans? I don't love scary things. They really freak me out. But I like a nice little hocus pocus moment. Oh, you know? okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, you might not like this one. So, oh. M Night Shyamalan, Amalan, who I can never say his name right, Shyamalan, mm. M Night Shyamalan, has got a new gay family oh, yeah. horror film coming. Oh, out. Oh, this game I watch it. It's not porn. Oh, um, <laughs> I might not watch it. Might not be. So, so you've lost me already. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not bothered. Um, Are they so hot? It's called, <laughs> it's, it's called a knock at the cabin, and it's coming out. It is porn. I've seen that one. <laughs> that one. Oh, so, maybe yeah, I will watch. It's an a, apo. I can't say this. Apocalyptic psychological horror film. I mm. mean, um, it's based on a book, The Cabin at the End of the World. Okay. By Paul G. Tremblay, and in I it, think. so. Paul G. Tremblay. Do you know? You know Paul G. Tremblay. He's bored. Yeah. So while so, the, so basically the story is about two dads uh, with their daughter daddies. vacationing a, a remote cabin in the woods, which never goes well no. like that. Daughter um, gets stuck in the washing machine. I've seen it. <laughs> <laughs> no, he doesn't. Um, so they're taken hostage by four armed strangers who demand that they make an unthinkable choice to avert the apocalypse. I've had that. Uh, you, have you had that? It's, hey, Four people come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Always yeah, on so a Friday you have to morning. It's always an apocalypse. It's in the world. It's never, yeah. So confused and scared, with limitless, limitless access to the outside, they've got to decide. Basically, one of them's got to die. Oh, okay. I'm giving that spoiler away. You kind of know. Cool. Um, so it's released next February, but it stars David Bastista. No, it doesn't. It's b- Bas... <laughs> I don't do words. <laughs> <laughs> Surnames. Bastista. Is that how we say it? I don't know who the it is. The dude who was a, he was a wrestler. Sounds good I don't to me. Know. Wouldn't need to know um, surname. Just watch I know him. Jonathan Groff. Yeah, beautiful. Because he's been in loads of stuff. Yeah, he's quite Ben famous. Aldridge, again, he's been in loads Big, of stuff. He's so hot. Um, and, and quite oddly, Rupert Grint. From, from Is that from Harry Potter? Potter? Yeah, he plays one of the mysterious strangers. Ooh. So, yeah, it's going to... It's going to... 
be quite scary. Mm. You know, I don't think you're going to have any gay sex in it, so we probably... Not watching. We can hope. Let's not, not ruin everyone's, cheek. you know... Which cheek? <laughs> I don't know. I quite like a... I like a nice taste... Film. I, I like a tasteful Ruby. <laughs> Do you? Yeah. Well, I, I like some of his films. He did he did the he did the Sixth Sense. I see dead people. Oh, the one where the, the little boy's dead. No, Bruce Willis. Okay. <laughs> Bruce Willis is dead. He did the one on the beach where everyone got old. Oh nightmare! I'd have gone in seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Instant dust like that. So, <laughs> see, he, his films have kind of a little bit of a they're either hit and miss. Mm. People that really like them or they really don't like them. There was the one where with Marky Mark in it. The sign? No, was it sign? He did do signs. We'll be here for a while. <laughs> We've got the time. It's fine. Um, signs with the aliens Not that came, and then there was the one where people were killing themselves because of the plants and the trees. What garden center was this in? <laughs> it what? They, literally, they, they, it was like something to do with like an ecological thing, and the plants were like going, "No, we've had enough of you humans." So they released a toxin that made people kill themselves. This wasn't the bird box thing. No, that's the no. mist. No, no. Okay, I'm lost. <laughs> Mike's looking really, really upset. <laughs> what um, are you talking about? It's, it's fine. Just, just type it in. Google it. There's a whole list of films that come up. <laughs> Watch them. Some maybe that are really good or not really good, depending on your point of view. Um, yeah, the 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 one the one that Sixth Sense is good. Signs not so good. Old. Hey, Don't uh, watch that. <laughs> Did you watch it? Yes. <laughs> and what happens in Basically, all? it's a beach, right? It's a luxury resort. Okay. And they show them to the, like, families to this beach, but it's a secret, like, a government project. Okay. So they're, like, test, they're, like, there's something to do with, like, sp time speeding up. So if you've got anything wrong with you, mm. the beach speeds it up. Okay. Ah. And then you get old. So like, every time, so they start, children start off little, and then they end up in, like, the 50s. Probably why I was upset by it. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I don't recommend it. But you that know, horror you... one, it sounds like a horror it one. It is a horror one. Yeah, it's not that right. Yeah, they're wrong. <laughs> anyway, that's it for this week. We should just talk about crystal flutes. Literally. Should have just talked about that and that would be it. Like... Yeah. Anyway, that's the end of this week's show. News. My autocue says thank you, Lee, but I don't think I can say it and actually mean it. <laughs> it's nothing to me. <sighs> yeah. Well, stick around, because coming up next, we have our game of the week. You're watching Chewing the Cud. This week we're going to play Ooza Kazoo. And this one is for our very own venti, decaf, no fat, sugar free, matcha infused latte that is Lee. <laughs> so off you go. Try to get up gracefully. I will, I side sidestep. <laughs> Hit your head on the. Game of the Week. So Lee's going to sing through a kazoo and we have to try and work out what it is that Lee's making a noise about. But before we do, we need to pick buzzers. So which buzzer would you like, Smashby? Oh, out oh, of these ones here? Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm going to have the pink goes in my outfit today. OK. Can I touch it? Yeah, yeah, yeah can I press it down? OK. Oh, go on them. And I'm going to go for the ever faulty orange. <laughs> Matches the beard. Huh? Matches the beard. It does. Well, the grey, anyway. Ah. Um, are you ready, Lee? I am. I am ready. Do you want to start making some noises with your face? Well, face first of all, I'm, I'm going to say that I'm up in my game this week because because people. Yeah. Have, have, Do you know what you're singing? I, I know I'm singing, but look, oh, okay. I've got my, I've got a brand new sparkly, amazing kazoo because that'll make me able to do it even better. Uh -huh. Okay, can't can't make it any worse. Can't it. make it any worse. <laughs> okay, are you ready for the first? Sorry, one? the guy's saying it looks like your crack pipe. Well, I I wouldn't know about those things. <laughs> um, okay, right, first one. I don't think I know this one. <laughs> I don't think that's a song. Oh my god. Oh, uh, hang on. Let me just play it in my head. Right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Traffic was tricky on the way in, wasn't yeah. it? <laughs> <laughs> it's terrible. One by the same artist. Huh? Can I do a different one by the same artist? I don't know. Can you? I'm, I'm not sure. Oh, are you asking permission? Yes. Yes, then your permission oh, is granted. I have permission to do that. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. All right, okay. Um... Oh, I've got it! Oh, <laughs> that's not good, that's a four. 
Could I say it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Umbrella by Rihanna. Oh, yes. It's oh, my God. Me. Yay. I, I'm appreciated in my own lifetime, finally. <laughs> it took me a minute, but that was good. I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't remember diamonds. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it's a bit tricky, that Shall one. Yeah. Buy, right, like, and diamond. Yeah. <laughs> 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 is that my song about influence? It is indeed. <laughs> it's your latest smash. That dangerous. is my latest bop. Available now on iTunes. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we get the next one up? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I throw, oh, it just flew, it flew off the table. I wanted, I wanted to do the rap, the saucy rap in the middle about <gasps> daddies. And go on then, do it. Stuff. I can't remember it. <laughs> From that song? <laughs> yeah. Where it's like, forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. That one. Yeah. Oh, I love that bit. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know where I've been. It's definitely inspired by the daddy, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, right. <laughs> Next one. I don't know where I've been bit that he relates to. <laughs> <laughs> it's in there, it's in there. <laughs> okay, right. Next one. <laughs> the East End just seemed tuned. No. Is it? <laughs> it does sound like I'm it. doing the chorus because I don't uh, know the verses. Uh, um, <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, that is only the bit I know. <laughs> that one. Do it again. This could be something different. Something this could be this point. anything. Um, so it's not the East Enders theme tune. No, it's not. It's pop. It's a pop song. Oh my god! I feel like I actually, I don't know what it is, but I can tell like the tune of it. What the hell is that? Uh, an old man trying to play the kazoo is what I've got. Oh! <laughs> It's, I'll give you a clue, that yeah. it's, it's featuring something, something, featuring... Something, something. Something, something. <laughs> they're, very, they're, very, they're very hygienic, but they might steal your money. Hygienic, I'm giving up officially. Hygienic, but by someone, like, um, Kim Woodburn, she's, she's like, clean up. <laughs> Well, Kim, it's not, it's not she got a bop out? Kim case. and Aggie doing It's Raining Men. <laughs> no, it's no. not. <laughs> Does Kim Woburn have a single? Kim Woburn, I don't think Kim Woburn <laughs> released many. I don't think it's a single, she has a bop. <laughs> yeah. um, it, it, that was Symphony by Clean Bandit. Oh, Sugar, Lawson. oh yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> that was a questionable version of it, but I do know the song. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Next one. What a bop. Okay. It was literally one line. <laughs> <laughs> now a little bit more of this one. Chandelier by Sia. It is. Oh. Oh wow. That, there. that was quite it quick. Was, it quite was quick. completely out of tune. That's <laughs> I got it. Um, like, okay. What does it not sound like? <laughs> Chandelier by um, Sia. I'll have a guess of that then. <laughs> right. I'm just gonna have to right visualise this one in my head in the video. Um, <laughs> oh! Oh, oh, it's break free. Oh, sorry. It's Ariana oh, Grande break free. Yes! Yeah! I found my musical chupacabra. Here we he needs go. To be, he needs to be here. <laughs> what was the other song you were going to do? No tears left to cry. Oh, it's a bit different. I could not know how to do it. Oh, that. Oh, right, okay. But, you know, yeah. that one was better. <laughs> right, next one. <laughs> I'm actually just saying the words into... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Are you doing your family guy impression? One of, um, <laughs> of Herbert. Herbert Cumberdale. Herbert Cumberdale. <laughs> <laughs> There isn't a Herbert. Not Herbert the brother. No. There isn't a Herbert Cumberdale. You know, the, 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 Come over here, little boy. <laughs> no, that that <laughs> is more accurate. <laughs> but that's what you're doing in the kazoo. No, it's not. See? I can't hear Herbert the brother. <laughs> 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 Trying to change key doesn't help you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just do the chorus then. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. 
This is the best game ever. I don't, I don't know anymore. Uh, what was the song? We've given up. It's crying at the discotheque by Alphazar. <laughs> <laughs> or Sophie Ellis Baxter. Whichever one you want to go for. Crying at the discotheque. Uh, and then something about a tie like Richard Gere. I didn't know. Um, <laughs> um, okay. Right. Again, I'm. I kn thought I did know it, but I think I just know like a line out of it. Okay, let's try it. It can't be any worse than your previous efforts. <laughs> but that won't help. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that was it. Yeah, I might have to do another one by <laughs> him. Maybe another one. Um. <laughs> uh, do that line again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> um, what else does he sing? They sing actually. Uh, oh, and do the line again. <laughs> I'm not convinced that's. Oh, it's Sam right. Smith. Oh. <laughs> It's Sam Smith dancing with a stranger. Yeah! Yes! See, Mike, it's not hard at all. I don't know why you whine every week. When you about had this. to correct because you missed it was gendered. The, it was when you get the pronouns, I was like, there's not many non binary artists killing I know. Charts. I was, I was <laughs> like, mm. And right. then when you went there, I got the tune then. Well, we're on to my choices now, so, so it'll be <laughs> just as simple. bad. <laughs> right, okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> Are you trying to suffocate <laughs> yourself with a pillow? <laughs> Come on, get into it. Is it like a step or something? <laughs> oh, it, it, it could. <gasps> Is it a step song? <laughs> Do you have a dancing with a stranger. No! <laughs> it, the, it's, Steps did cover it. Okay. Other people, you know, originally. Whatever. Just, just go again. Do it again. <laughs> I just can't. No, I don't know what the song is, but I get the tune somehow I'm through that. <laughs> don't know. Don't know. <laughs> the slightest touch. By steps. Okay, I thought it was like, this sounded like steps, but I didn't know yeah. what the song was. Right, that's enough of that. And after this break, we'll be getting all up in their business as we shine a spotlight on Smash B. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. Now we have braced them and we have fumigated ourselves and made sure that we're all nice and clean. And now it's time to go over to get all the goss from Smash B in Spotlight. So, welcome Smash B. Thanks for having me. It's been lovely to have you so far. Thank you so much for going through Ooza Kazoo. I, I, honestly, I um, loved that. It showed <laughs> I won. You, you so. actually won, yeah. I actually won. There you go. What yeah. can you say? <laughs> Did you read the cards beforehand? <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> no, he's, he's, he's a musician, so therefore he recognises... That's recognizes, it, I've got, the, I've got the ear. Yeah, he recognises um, another fellow musician when he hears one. That, that, that's a stretch, but yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> if, you, if you want a warm up act, uh, my kazoo, I can put it in that's my pocket. A, yeah, I'll do you be know burned. what? <laughs> will, my people will call your people. Do it, or, or yeah, let's else. make it happen. Could call you all sorts. Of <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, so people that don't know you, what, what is it that you do? So I'm a pop singer, songwriter, um, and I release music and I tour a lot of the pride circuits and do a lot of gay events. Really, um, I do a lot of work with schools and colleges and anti-bullying week and things like that. And um, any songs that people might know of mine are probably ones with Drag Race queens like Aja from the US season uh -huh. and Davina DeCampo. Friend of the show, Davina. Friend of the show. Of the we love DDC. Davina. Um so yeah, so that's basically what I do. <laughs> you you're not a stranger to a pride. I have I've seen I have seen many clips. Yeah. I don't is it like two prides that you've not done this year? Probably. <laughs> if that, maybe one. I don't know. But there's <laughs> there's many, yeah, the many. What pride. what is the best pride that you've done? Oh God, do you know what? It's hard to think because there's so many to get jumbled up. But um, <laughs> they're all honestly so amazing. 
it, it's just the reaction from the crowd that I judge it off normally, and they've all been so good. Um, I mean, the last one I did, someone came up to me and they had a tattoo of my name on their arm. Oh, wow. So that was quite a highlight. That kind of makes the event just a little... It's felt right. It's a little... Lo- it's yeah. Well, do you know what? Yeah. It said it smashed me, bitch, on their arm. Oh, so wow. it was all felt right beautifully, <laughs> um, which I love. And... Um, there's just been so many highlights. It's hard to choose. I think, I believe, you recently you did Preston Pride. Did that before COVID, like three years in a row. And that was the first time I think I've had people queue to meet me at Preston. Oh, and so wow. I've back every year because I was like, love them going back. And it's just got better and better. And it's built a lot as a Did they give you a butter pie by any chance? A butter, no. What, no. Is that a thing from Preston? You, if you... <laughs> Is that... I've not had a butter pie from Preston. I've have not. Explain what a butter pie is. A butter pie is a pie. Full butter. With butter in... No, it's uh-huh. a pie. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds awful. I can keep it. No, that's what it is. It's a pie filled with potato. <laughs> oh, but... with a lot of quite a considerable amount of butter. Oh, in well, it. that yeah. sounds good. Sometimes you can put in a bomb cake, which is quite tasty. Do you know what? No one gave me that, and I'm no. quite offended. I've got one. I've done it four times now. Where's the butter pie? <laughs> <laughs> Because they want you to come back and not die. Maybe, that, like, maybe that's what it is. The day after. <laughs> maybe that's why. <laughs> Safer, I don't get one. <laughs> Uh, and your first single you crowdfunded? Yeah, when I was just starting doing music, yeah. obviously I was like, I don't know, I'm going to do this. So I did some crowdfunding to get some money to put some uh, music together and just put some demos online with that. And those are the demos that I used to start getting booked on the Pride circuit way back when. So, oh, yeah, it worked out. <laughs> <laughs> Not going to mention it, but 2015. No. 2015? Yeah. That's, that's quite a long time ago. That's a, a lot of years. I can't work out how many. It's that's 12. a lot. It's 12. Is it? What? 15. No, it's 7. <laughs> I don't do math either. I don't. I don't know what the year no. this is, if I'm honest. <laughs> Fifteen. Yeah, I was getting confused. <laughs> yeah. It's fine. Anyway, ask another question. Anyway, anyway, anyway. so music. <laughs> yeah. So, who would she say are your biggest influences in music? Definitely Britney Spears. She's oh. my favorite. Everything. I just love her so much. Which era? Oh, I mean everything, but Blackout's the the best. Blackout's the best era. She was just going for it. She was so unapologetic. And I love like songwriters like Kesha. I think she's great and fun. Miley Cyrus. There's so many that I love. So yeah. What do you think of Britney's collaboration with <gasps> Elton John? Elton John. Oh, Jay Melton John. I love it. Honestly, when I heard those, I didn't think she'd do music again. If I'm honest, or like <laughs> or perform or anything. So when I saw that was coming out, I was like, I'm gonna treasure every moment of this release, and I play it probably every single day. If I'm honest. And, <laughs> I've heard rumours that she's doing a cover of Elvis's <gasps> Viva Las Vegas. Stop it, is that real? I'm sure. Where have you heard this? I'm on all the Britney fans' I mean, it could be a complete that I've made up, because be. that's quite... <laughs> if you're trying to, like... Fever, <laughs> 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 could have had that trying to get me all riled up. I'm just getting disappointed. I've induced coma. I'm <laughs> <laughs> right, dramatic. No, I'm sure I've read on social media that, that is, there's a remix coming of Viva Las Vegas. Oh, well, I'm so here for that. Oh, my goodness. Mm, Britney and Elvis, I'm here for him. I'd Google it first, though, just to I'd check. Yeah. Yeah. I, after this, I'll be doing <laughs> that all the way home. Don't worry. Anything that's about Some dodgy website. It's your website that you set up. So you get the money. <laughs> it's your cover on the kazoo. Yeah, yeah. Britney, complete Britney back, ca- catalog. back catalog. Oh my god. Back Britney catalog. back catalog. That um, well, as a describes mouthful. it. Yeah. 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 Back catalog. Yeah. It's back catalog. Um, <laughs> although I, I have to. Would you like to hear Lee's uh, Britney impression? I would love to hear this Britney impression. Okay. okay. <laughs> you know what? That's the I see where you're going with it. That's that. <laughs> it's, that's good. It is that. Like, meow. Bye, bye. It's uh, like a cat having a moment. It, it's, <laughs> it's a fine line between cat and Britney, but you will go yeah. with it. You know, it's a, no. it's a niche. It's a niche. It's a choice. <laughs> um, shall we move to the jar of joy? Let's let's yeah. do. Would you like to pick out a question, then, Lee? Okay. Well, I shall I shall I shall open the jar of joy. I love this jar. It's and, very um, tacky like fun, it? just like me. You can take it with you if you want. I am actually my still not from Would you just like to, Would you like to reach in? <clears throat> go on. It's not the first time. I've stuck my hand in something tacky mm. and fun. <laughs> You didn't need any lube, I <laughs> I know. Marvellous. <laughs> didn't touch That's the sides, not the first time. <laughs> <laughs> Can I look? Would you rather have to read aloud every word you read <laughs> or sing everything you say out loud? What would you prefer to do? Read. That's a lot of singing. Honestly, that's a lot of singing. Yeah. Read aloud everything you say? So you have to read aloud every word you read. So you have to, oh, okay. Everything you read cannot be in your head. Right, okay. You have to read it out loud. And then <laughs> sing or sing everything you say out loud. Oh, okay. What are you going for, then? I'm going to go for the read. Oh, okay. I don't do that much reading. Check so, the voice. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. it. I'd get bored of it after a while, I think. Oh, okay. <laughs> interesting, interesting. Yeah. yeah. Do you want to reach in and, and so get shall, a question out for Smash? Reach in and ask a question. 
Okay, now this is a very deep and thoughtful question. Okay. Okay. So it's serious. Would you rather swim in a pool of M&Ms or oh. marshmallows? Oh. Oh. Uh... <laughs> oh, I'm thinking, my friends. <laughs> is... Oh, that's I mean, a mix choice. of the two would be great, I'll be honest. That's not what it says, though. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I <laughs> think <laughs> I'm not I'm... the questions. Not the question on the card. Don't I answer think... the wrong question. I think I'd go M&M's. I love an M&M. Oh. Mm. Marshmallows are very filling, I feel like. You can have more M&M's. It doesn't say you can eat them. Oh. Swim swim well, I can them. swim with my mouth open and it's like gobble. <laughs> <laughs> well, too many things in my mouth that open. That could be the title of your next album. <laughs> <laughs> I swim open and go. How did you know that's what it was? <laughs> I was like, I'm going to change it now. <laughs> you, you 10% thinking, royalties, thank you. You were thinking long and hard, so what did you decide? Uh, marshmallows. Uh huh. You know, soft, gentle. Yeah. Like delicate skin. For my delicate. Delicate. <laughs> delicate. <laughs> my delicate um, chicken skin. Yeah. Oh. Um, <laughs> the turkey one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. Would you rather be a clumsy ninja? Or a wizard with amnesia. That's basically just a person. <laughs> just an old, forgetful person with a long beard. <laughs> um. <laughs> I'm sorry, mate. <laughs> <Holy old. laughs> Say it again. A clumsy ninja. Yeah. Or a wizard with amnesia. I feel like the ninja would be really fun to watch. Like, I've had a TV show, Clumsy Ninja, I'd just ruin every like mission I ever get in my life. Like, it'd be great. Mm. Mm, I don't see the point of being a wizard with amnesia. You, you just get all the person. spells. Yeah, I'd love to have the spells though. Yeah, but you but don't I forget you can't them. Remember them? So it's, yeah, useless. No, go for the funny well, ninja. But what if you, you don't have to cast a spell? You can just tap and magic. <gasps> and that's do that. But you forget because you've got amnesia. Yeah, but <laughs> just like going, what am I doing? <laughs> and if you did it, you surprised. <laughs> <laughs> like, why are all these clones of Chris Hemsworth in my flat? <laughs> oh. Would you rather be stuck on your own on a desert island? Or be stuck on the island with four people that you hate. <gasps> oh, I mean meat. You won't be on your own. <laughs> well, meat from earlier, hungry, raw meat, <gasps> brains. Them. Oh, but anyway, it's not my question. This is giving Jeffrey Dahmer all over again. <laughs> Smash his question. Oh wait, I'm, I've got to answer it myself. Yeah. Oh, oh my god, I thought that's to you guys. Sorry, I completely um, hijacked your question. Mm. <laughs> four people that I hate. I feel like love and hate is a very thin line between it. Oh. So I feel like we'd probably be. Attracted to each other deep down, and that could be. Fun. You're thinking angry sex. I'm um, yeah, basically revenge. <laughs> yeah, that's the vibe. So that's what I was thinking yeah. as well. <laughs> them then eat them. Yeah. No, no, no. Ah, oh wait, no! I just agreed oh to that. God. I wasn't even listening. <laughs> I just agreed to that, and that is not what I was going for. I need to stop watching I was Netflix, because like, yeah. this is not good. <laughs> no. You're getting, no, I need to listen to what you're saying as well and stop disagreeing. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's, yeah, that's what I'm going to do, yeah. I was like, yeah. <laughs> Wait, no. <laughs> and that's almost the end of this show. Remember to join us on our social media at The Could TV. Our website is thecud.tv. And, of course, on YouTube and podcast services, look for Chewing The Could and hit subscribe. Thank you for watching us, and thank you for being with us today, Smashby. How can people find you? Normally, street corner. Um, oh, okay. But for social media references, <laughs> it's at Smashby Official on everything. TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, mm -hmm. all that stuff. Click the like. Absolutely, and go check out my new single, Bad Influence. Indeed. Absolutely. I think we have been a bad influence. <laughs> and playing us out is Smashby's single, Bad Influence. So meet you soon. Bye. Bye. Poison in my ears, yeah. the venom in my kiss oh, gonna be your ecstasy. Ecstasy. But you see me in those magazines, you hear me on your radio, you watch me on your TV screen. Pieces everywhere you go. So what you gonna do? I'll be the drug you can't refuse. I'm a bad influence. Oh, we can't just be friends